What up, Super Fun Force, good Captain G -G -G Gamesta, and today I got a quick unboxing for this uh, custom, this HD custom Harley Davidson motorcycle from Maisto. And I don't know if that's just Maisto or Japanese from Maisto. <laughs> I don't know, I think they're an American company, are they? Well, they're based out here in Fontana, California, not too far from me. All right, cool. Well, let's take a look here at the box really quickly. Uh, this is a little bit of an interesting pickup for me. I, you know, I'm not like going to be buying tons and tons of vehicles. But because I like vehicles that come with action figures, I wanted to get something that I could start to like custom with for some of my figures, kind of imagine my own like, or I guess my own reimaginings of like retro cartoons and a little bit of my own uh, original ideas. So I wanted to get a cool motorcycle, a lot of motorcycle figures or, you know, ex you know vehicles, I should say, um, you know, not accessories, but actual vehicles, they can run anywhere from like 50 to 100 bucks, even if you buy them like, for uh you know like an actual um part of a toy line uh very expensive so you know and, and retro ones too can also be super expensive but if you haven't already check out my captain planet retro uh eco cycle i got that one for an amazing price on ebay brand new uh and that's an example of like an amazing value but when i look at current stuff you, let, you know like um i think one of the big ones like the indie toy publisher from china that's getting popular joy toy uh, there's also some, I think, um, some anime toys from Japan, like for Gundam that are coming out with motorcycles. But I know Joy Toy has a lot. Uh, there's also from Haya has like some motorcycles for Judge Dredd. Like those things run at least 50, 60 bucks, if not more. So I picked up this one. Uh, and basically, uh, this was less than 20 bucks. And I think that's about the going price for these. And I'm, I'm excited because the scale that I want this for is 3.75 inch, which is, again is like classic G.I. Joe's. The Fortnite figures you saw, Joy Toy, and things like that. So let's just go ahead and open this up. Uh, and also, again, I don't know if you're a Harley Davidson fan or if you know about them. Again, these are the ones that are available. I picked a Sportster because I was checking around just a little bit of some information. Um, you know, people were saying that uh, I think the biggest competitors, or not competitors, but the choices between Harleys comes down between the Sportster and I guess the Dyna Street Bob, which I think has generally a little bit more horsepower but i think a lot of people were saying a lot of riders were saying the sportster uh definitely still packs a punch and it's more uh maneuverable i think a little bit lighter uh and again that's i guess why it's being called the sportster iron 883 and i think it looks really nice i mean this definitely this looks like more of the chopper style um harley davidson's and things like that but um i wanted one that looked uh, i guess like almost like a ducati monster a little bit of some euro inspiration in there uh, but still having that american style uh, really really cool so anyways let's take this out here and any comments let me know if you guys know a lot about harley davidson's and you have some information you know some fun facts you want to share about this uh and which again this is the um sportster i'm not, i'm actually curious it doesn't say it on this box does it that's kind of odd so you have to look back here to be like oh it's a sportster 2014 iron 83 um i don't know exactly how long i'll probably double check to see if this came out or anything similar like this came out like way back in the days like you know in the 50s uh 60s and so forth but you know again these are all pretty recent models uh 2001 is the earliest one and then it goes up to uh i guess yeah 2015 so again it looks like a bike to me i'm, I'm not like super keen on motorcycle history but i don't know if this is something that could almost pass from being from the 50s or 60s because i kind of like that retro era but um i'm surprised it's very current you know but again still really cool all right so let's take this out again packaging super simple and i will say so this slides a little bit here it feels really nice i mean the detail on this thing is fantastic you know the chrome parts here uh feels like some transformer stuff it is plastic though it's like a you know those type of chrome plastics uh these are not real spring shocks there but that's okay I got a tachometer right there. You can see uh, there's like a license plate, which I'm sure, you know, if, I guess if you don't like that, you can probably get a small sticker and just cover it up. Seat nice. It feels really solid. Again, you know, even the engine right there, you can just tell it's a piece of plastic. It does have silver paint apps on it, but it does have that nice little texturing. Uh, what else? Yeah, it looks good. The tires, this one here is rubberish think well let me let me take off my glove really quick yeah the tires are actually rubber rubberized 
So that's really nice. And as you can see here, they fit really well. Like they're, they're like uh, secure. There's just a little bit of, you know, little little shift. Let's see if you guys can see that. There you go. It's a little bit of shifting like that, but they stay super straight. This one's even better. It's tighter. And again, let's have this kickstand here. Just like that. Looks great. Yeah, I like it. Perfect. It, you know, does the job. Now I'm just going to have to put it with my uh, 375. So I'll be doing so. Um, I guess I'll turn this into a pseudo joy toy because uh, review, because I'll show you guys the figure that I got for this. Um, I did do a box unboxing video for it, but after I threw away the package, the file got corrupted sadly. But booyah, I got this character. I think he is also a Chinese based character. Uh, it definitely looks like he can pass as being like Chinese or like, you know, mixed Asian ethnicity. But this guy looks awesome. Uh, he comes with a, actually I should show you guys as well. And look, oh my goodness, that actually scales pretty well. He might be, I don't know if he might be a little big for it, but you know, again, for the price, uh, it looks, it definitely looks nice. And again, 375. Uh, and this guy is super cool. He comes with this sword here. The details on this guy are phenomenal. He definitely has, um, he has like that retro sci-fi look, almost like Mad Max, you know, and stuff from like the 60s and 70s which I really like. Uh, again, he has like these gray cargos with brown boots. He has, oh yeah, he has a pistol here that I holstered. You can remove the holster. Um, the belt and the leg piece are also separate. They're not like molded in. This has great articulation again for Joy Toy. It has like thigh swivels. It has like these toe bands, which you see on, you know, more expensive figures like Figual Arts. You know, he has a, uh, the chest uh, separation there. You know, the ball joints on the fists. You can, um, you can change his hands, by the way, so I'll show you his accessories. The only thing is uh, this back part here is really cool uh, with the wires. It looks like some kind of canister, but it's attached permanently to his jacket, which you can take off. You can take off the vest. You know, if I remove the arms, you can easily take it off. It was in the, the pictures. It comes off, which, you know, gives him another clean look. He also comes with a, um, a solid black helmet, but I swapped it to another character, but I can grab it too really quick. And I'll show you the weapon. So the helmet he comes with, it's funny because it, it does look like it's made for a, um, okay, never mind, I can't pull it off. Well, I'll just show you guys here really quick. Comes with this helmet. And it does look like a motorcycle helmet, but this is a custom that I put together. I just swapped on the head helmet onto this Fortnite figure and it looks, I think, amazing. Um, you know, it's really not much to it. It's just a, it's just a black helmet, but Again, if you look closely, see if the lighting can show you guys. He does have a little bit, there you go. He has a little bit of a visor and like around his mouth, there are ridges and then the chin is red. And then of course he has like um, this, this um, red on the back, yellow on the side. But anyways, that helmet goes right over his head. It's also pliable plastic, much like the Boba Fett helmet, but I chose it to give it to a different character. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna give him a different helmet. And then finally also show you what he comes with here. Uh, again, he comes with this nice machine pistol. It's dark gray, but it has some silver weathering paint apps on it. And then he also finally comes with, uh, actually, I didn't realize this. He came with a total of three handsets. So he has fists and he has like the open fist. So you can place the sword in tighter and you can hold the other weapons. Right now he has like a semi grip here and a fully open hand. But again, it's phenomenal. And there you guys go. This is going to be part of my custom Kind of diorama kind of custom set uh and it's really cool you know this kind of like chinese um kind of like retro character really cool um and then he fits on this sportster bike it's not bad at all not bad at all it's harley davidson so you know i want to bring that retro vibe <laughs> it looks so cool come at me bro yeah it's really cool um you know i'm also thinking about picking up a, a japanese sport bike but you know we've seen that a lot where you know the japanese sports bike with the guy with the sword but i want to maybe give that to someone else and like i said give him the harley you know give him a different look um you know guys with a sword on a harley is pretty unique in itself so i like that but he definitely has the style and the gear kind of like to uh to fit it so there's a sneak peek of that guys i'll do another video when i put together the rest of it uh kind of give you guys my idea on my themes and stuff like that but again this is definitely a win so if you, oh yeah look at the brake disc wow it's also you know the chrome plastic super shiny so yeah if you want to get vehicles for your 3.5 um, inch characters and I recommend you start looking at things from Maisto in the uh, by the way this is a 118 scale I know that like Jada makes um, makes toys in like usually 124 
uh, and those might be a little too small. So it doesn't say here, but I believe this is 118. That's what it said in the description. And again, it, it looks fine. I don't know if it's 124. Um, let me see here. I should have said no. Yeah, it's kind of funny. The box, well, not funny, but it's kind of unfortunate the box doesn't give us any more information. Like, again, it doesn't even say the name of the vehicle you're buying on it. Um, you have to look back here and match it. You know, I guess they expect the collector to be like, oh, I already know which one uh, this is, whatever. Um, and they don't give you, like, details on the scale. Yeah, nowhere. It is officially licensed. Cool. Well, there you guys go. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, maybe some other ideas for figures like or models you can pick up with vehicles to put it for 3.75 inch. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget to keep your face, say your prayers, spread that love, be positive, be thankful. We'll be coming back at you. Peace.